So who am I? You may or may not know who I am. Recently, I wrote this book called The Vitality Secret. It's uh, entitled Defy Disease, Combat Common Illnesses and Stay Young. It's ultimately about inflammation and chronic inflammation. If you're inflamed, you're very susceptible to various common illnesses and the inflammation is behind very a lot of them. And chronic inflammation is what leads to really serious illnesses down the road like cancer, type 2 diabetes, type 3 diabetes, and you know, cardiovascular disease, metabolic syndrome, it's all related to chronic inflammation. So that's what that book is all about. And it got to number nine in immune systems about a week ago, which I was really proud of and happy with. Uh, I recommend getting it if you haven't already. So let's move on. The reason I got into the whole nutrition and fitness space is actually because um, I was trying to solve a problem for myself about five years ago now. And I wrote this book and published it in 2012, early 2012. And as you can see, the title says, Mojo Multiplier, Raise Testosterone Naturally. What I realized was that we are actually surrounded by all these endocrine disrupting chemicals. These are hormones that affect, sorry, these are compounds and chemicals that affect your hormones. And they're the likes of herbicides and pesticides and fungicides and insecticides and all these preservatives and all these um, toxic things that we take in almost every day without even realizing it. And the likes of soy and um, we're, even the water supply and cosmetics, shower gels, conditioners, all of these things have or have the potential to have endocrine disrupting chemicals and compounds in them. So that's what that book is all about. And that's, you know, for the last four or five years, I've been into nutrition and I'm very passionate about it and I'm helping other people. I'm a health coach. And then I wrote that book more recently. So this webinar is actually focused on eczema because I've been in eczema myself for, for my whole life. And it's, uh, as I'm sure you can relate to it if you are an eczema sufferer yourself, a very frustrating and uh, sometimes painful experience um, to have. So I wanted to share with you how I cured mine by pretty much accidentally by figuring out that eczema is actually an inflammatory disease. So your skin is the largest organ in or on the body. And it's the first organ on your body to indicate that there is something wrong happening underneath. When I first heard this about a year ago or something, I thought that's a really interesting point. Your skin, well, I don't need to repeat it, your skin's the largest organ, and if there's anything wrong with it, I'm going to though, if there's anything wrong with it, it's, uh, it shows there's something wrong underneath. I think it's also an indication that you may not be dealing with stress so well, or habits, or pleasurable feelings of scratching. I'm saying that because as an eczema sufferer for most of my life, I know how it is my first go-to thing to do in the events of stress. And it's also habitual. I, could, I would literally wake up in the morning and start scratching for no reason. If I was in, ever in a state of indecision, or when I don't have clarity or sense of purpose or focus, I, you know, it's my first kind of go-to thing to do. Um, I was once at university, I'll never forget this time when I was about 19 or something, studying business over in Paris and a friend of mine looked over to me and he, he, just, he just imitated what I was doing, I was scratching my arm and he imitated what I was doing with this ridiculous face and all, all my friends just cracked up and I was just sat there going, I can't believe what's just happened, I was kind of incredulous as to what just happened but it just made me realise that I'm doing this thing, I don't even realise I'm doing it and obviously other people pick up on it and it's like an energy that you give off as well. So yeah, it's, uh, I'm very, very aware of um, the effects of eczema and yeah, the, uh, the pain and frustration it brings to our lives. So what causes eczema? Um, by the way, if you don't have eczema, this is still relevant because eczema is an inflammatory disease and you can cure inflammation by what I'm about to teach you. So don't be put off if you don't have eczema. So you can be predisposed to getting it, as my pretty much my whole family were. And the biggest culprit is inflammation. And that's what obviously this thing is all about, this presentation is all about. Inflammation is the main culprit behind eczema and asthma, psoriasis, IBS, Crohn's disease, food allergies, animal allergies. It all starts with inflammation. And unfortunately, our modern conventional diet puts most of us on the road to developing inflammation. Also stress, I put it in quotation marks there because it's really psychology we're talking about, but stress is um, what leads to eczema. As I said, it could be the first thing you do in the events of stress. Um, 
So you can also scratch in your sleep, of course. I used to, when I was a kid, I used to wear gloves in bed. and I used to scratch through my gloves as I was sleeping. So I'd draw, I'd, I'd still manage to have all the, had all these white gloves. I slept in bed like Michael Jackson. And I had all these uh, hands, uh, all these hands, all these holes in, uh, in the fingers in the morning sometimes. So I'd just scratch so heavily. Think about inflammation, think about stress. Um, these are the main two things we're going to focus on in this presentation. Uh, you can't really get away from the fact that you're predisposed. You just need to figure out how to override those genes. And that is possible through nutrition.